story. The party was fun. It was just kind of like interesting to reestablish what it means to be a host. That being said, I'm in Long Beach and I'm going to admit that like it looked hazy and kind of gross when I was driving over, but I thought why go directly back when I'm in the area and I'm having a good time. So I decided to go to Seal Beach, which fun fact, I'm literally going to go step on and be like, we did it and then come back. Uh, so it wasn't that much out of the way. It was a good drive, but the air quality is so bad. Like it looks bad and it was just out of nowhere and I didn't think about it. It's like, why do I feel like weird and anxious and stuff? And I'm like, I'm gonna snag a snack, walk around, get some air, even though I'm not sure if that's helping. Um, and then drive back, but I was trying to avoid traffic and now I'm kind of regretting this. Anyway, but we're here. It's cool. I've always wanted to go to Seal Beach, so hopefully there's seals. Um, but yeah, in Seal Beach right now, air quality is at 187. And for those of you who don't know what that means, it's like you just feel uncomfortable and you're not sure why. <laughs> and uh, yeah, not the greatest feeling in the world, but it is what it is at this point. So my grand plan of action is to go walk around for a little bit. Uh, just to get some air. I have an hour with this parking, which is as good as it's going to get, honestly. And then just make yeet out, basically. Like, yeah, I'm just going to spend a second. And then I'm going to get some footage, and then I'm going to leave and go back and <laughs> take a shower and probably watch something or go sleep. Or oh, I still got things I got to work on, actually. But yeah, that's where we're at. <laughs> This is such a riveting experience. I am just over here, like I do not have enough water for this. I'm gonna need a bathroom soon. And I don't really know this area. I'm not too far, but it's also still kind of far. And it's just amazing. I didn't think the air was gonna be this bad. And here we are. So let's go see LB. We kind of making it. Okay, uh, this walkway, definitely difficult to walk on. Um, but the air smells okay. Good sign. Okay, this is very different. Um, Remember what I said earlier about like being alone and exploring places? Like I love to explore and I love being here, don't get me wrong, but a little uncomfy being alone. But like it's fine, it's safe, it's just like me being a weirdo with a camera and being like, this would be so much fun with other people. Like see what I mean with the sky? I don't even know if you could see that. Um, ooh, watch out for stingrays, that's nice. But you should probably see that. You can't really read it, but that sign has, has a whole bunch of warnings, so that's great. Obviously in the wild deserts, Look at these sand dunes, dunes of sand. 20 out of 20, I made it to the top of the sand dunes and beach. It's actually really aesthetic. Um, due to the air and the fact that I live by a beach, I probably will not be going all the way to the water because that's really far. Um, I know, I know. Don't call me out. I have to drive back, you know, but I'm taking a minute. Wow. It's really pretty. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make it there, especially in an hour and back. Like, yeah, probably not. But it's cute. Like, it's really aesthetically pleasing. I'll show you what it looks like. The, the, the cloud situation, which is definitely not clouds. Um, open, sunlight, looking very majestic. Me questioning my shoe choice of the day, but looking real cute with these shorts. Anyway, like at the distance, you can kind of see there's like the outline of the city and stuff. Just Long Beach actually slaps. It feels way colder out here. Okay, there's like a pier that away. Okay, mask. Then a bunch of cool people's houses. If I was stuck like on a deserted island, I would be vlogging it. I'm just saying it as it is. People are going surfing. Do you think there's good waves? I don't know if I'm gonna find out. Actually, maybe that's gonna be my new goal. I'm going to try to make it to the water and then just immediately come back. Do you think I could do that in an hour? Do you think they're strict about their parking? Do you think this is a good idea? Let's find out.
good amount of time by the water. I always love that. I should probably go this way. The sunlight. <laughs> Air's still questionable, but it's always better by the water, so that's nice. Took a good deep breath. Made some good life realizations about patience and all that stuff I'm trying to learn. Um, yeah, no seals, but definitely surfers. <laughs> so we should rename it Surfer Beach based on my experience. I didn't go far, but far enough. You know, just try to enjoy the moment. And um, this is me doing that, so this is great. Okay, so I ended up getting these, which I thought were going to be tarot cards. Uh, they were technically free through Amazon because they had that cool Prime deal, and they're actually Oracle cards. So I randomly took this stack, okay? And we had like full out stack over here of all these really, really, really pretty random oracle cards. And I picked what I thought was one. And the one that I picked says stay optimistic, which this is the most on the line card I think I could have possibly picked. But then I randomly just like slid my hand and there was actually a second card, which is synchronicity, which is making the first card a little more specific. And I could not have picked better random cards ever. I feel so good about this life decision. This is great. This is, yep, yep, yep. We're going to keep track of this because this is iconic. It feels like LA Twilight. Bob Ross is waking. <laughs> what is this? What is this place? I don't want to film have here. Timelines again. I feel like that's just the nature of this area. <laughs> okay, so use the air because it is quite literally 92 degrees. But that party was great. Honestly, like I miss this very much. So this has been amazing. Uh, the kids were super sweet. There weren't too many people. And then we also like set up a stage. So uh, how it kind of works is that I'm still able to go through and perform as normal. It's just less actual interactions and content and things like that. So like guys, guys, like this is cute. This is so cute. And like honestly, I'm kind of quarantine queen over here. So yes, I was bringing up quite a few things about, um, you know, being trapped inside for a long amount of time in quarantine. <laughs> like I was making it very relatable. I mean, Rapunzel's literal kingdom is called Corona. I'm just saying, there's content. Also, I found out that I kind of really relate to Rapunzel. So when I was telling through the story, I was like singing the songs and stuff, I kind of just realized like, wow, this is emotional. It was so sweet and so much fun and I miss doing this a lot. So. This is everything. I can't stop looking at myself on the screen because I'm like, we're back. It feels so good to feel like I have my life together again. Like, it's so weird because, I don't know. Also, this morning I missed, like I woke up with my right earring gone and I wasn't playing with it. I have no idea how that happened, but it's very similar because last year this also happened around this time, which is super weird. I'm like, why is my earring missing? But the second I acknowledged it's missing, there's a sign, but obviously it fell off in my sleep, which never happens. This only happens, I swear, like twice. And it was like today and then like a year ago. And then like I ended up finding and stuff, but these are super hard maps, like they don't just come out. So it was kind of amazing to have a moment where that happened. I don't know, life is really cool lately. So someone was about to come over here. I'm like, wow, that would be weird. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I'm going to find somewhere to go and then I have to change back and head on back again. But this is amazing. I'm absolutely obsessively excited about kind of just getting back into the swing of things and I should probably check to see what's going on. But yeah, yeah it was so much fun and these girls were just so sweet. But just like doing this, like I can't even begin to tell you how much I genuinely miss doing this. Like this like it's just so emotional and nice and it feels kind of normal even though like obviously it's not the same as it was before completely it's still like it's almost nicer because it's a smaller group and it's just like I feel like I feel more connected to it I don't even know what I'm saying anymore but it was super sweet and really cute and I really enjoyed it so that was my lovely morning of the day now it's 2 39 and I just figure out what happens next because I'm not really sure so, so obviously I'm about to be in a regular normal human being <laughs> Or me again. Um, yeah, so today's been really, really fun. I actually went to uh, Veggie Grill and I had free 
credits because like you get enough like you earn back free money for future purchases so I redeemed free food for lunch slash early dinner I had that burrito thing again so good and it's nice to order something with it saying it has cheese in it and knowing that it's vegan cheese and it's like all totally okay like I could order it as is wild anywho that being said I decided to go to Trader Joe's but I went to the one in Sherman Oaks because honestly I've been to this one like quite a few times and I'm finally kind of comfortable with the horribleness that is their parking lot uh but I actually like the location it was a little busy today but I picked up a few things that I knew I was out of and I was going to pick up soon anyway so that was fun um, also just nice to walk around again, you know, like, so yeah, so I was in Burbank for a bit and then I came over to Sherman Oaks for a bit and now I'm still not done with today. Like going back doesn't sound great, especially because it's literally in the nineties today here, which is meaning it's probably like 80, 80, 80s, I can't talk, but like eighties and something more coastally. So I'm like, okay, well it's like, it's a warm day, but like we are going to enjoy it. So this gal needs to pick up more water because I drank through one out of three of the waters that I brought. Um, but I also just want it like super cold and the stuff has been sitting for a bit. So I'm going to go to a Starbucks that I haven't been to, but is actually really close by and just drive around for a bit and then head on back. Uh, mostly kind of waiting out traffic a little bit, but it's not too bad, which is nice. Um, I do miss randomly going like like to malls and <laughs> like like the Grove and Americana and stuff like that uh but it's too busy and that's not essential so I'm doing the essential things like picking up more water to stay hydrated on a hot day and walking into a grocery store to pick up things I actually have to pick up but I'm doing it in a fun way that makes me feel like I'm still having the day out also the other parties today did a book so I had my one party but it was great and I loved it it was amazing and there are more parties that are booking more frequently um, than like previous weeks and stuff, so that's great. So yeah, like we're having a good time here, okay? This is a lot of, also I'd love to go to the music store, but again, like if you can't really touch anything or you don't wanna touch anything, that's kind of a really bad idea. And I don't think it's gonna be open like it normally is anyway, but quite sad. Also, life hack uh, at grocery stores. It's Trader Joe's does this I think Ralph's does this maybe like a few different grocery stores I know do this but there are cart wipes available if you use that to not only wipe off the cart or like basket or whatever you're using but also if you use it on your hand you can use it on your groceries when you're done just to wipe them down before you even get them to the car you can wipe your phone like I've been using those as like sanitary wipes to help clean stuff off uh yeah like honestly 20 on 20 it's a really good idea so we're gonna go and um yeah I'm having a fun day yeah okay let's go to Starbucks <laughs> also we're not going to talk about the fact that my poor skin is going through a bit at the moment and this is making it look a lot better than if like I was red and splotchy quite a bit this morning and it's honestly just like bad air stress and yeah being a little weird about eating I guess too and it's just kind of like it happens uh makeup though thriving I know I'm a little sweaty and stuff so I don't mind that but like this eyes these okay these eyes are actually the hip dot palette that I actually just got so they sent that to me to a film promo for but I actually really love it yep and I added the little magnetic lashes because your yeah, girl can't be bothered with the glue and honestly they, they stick really well they stay all day they don't hurt or, or feel weird it's actually so much easier than sticking glue by your eye to actually they're tiny little magnets and they don't really clip to your eye or even like your eyelashes necessarily they clip to like themselves and then your eyelashes are in between so I really really like but the look is great I actually ended up with too much pink I'm like oh no but Rapunzel is more like purpley so then I combined it too also I should mention I just looked over and there's like okay I'll show you over right here it's like a little sun and moon logo I don't know if it's going to want to focus yeah see little sun and moon logo okay cool like I never noticed that before but cool that has been like a thing recently where I keep seeing like suns and moons and stuff I saw like the little mural and stuff that they have inside. One side there's a moon, and I kid you not, there's a sun on the other side. And weird flex, but I keep seeing, you know how I've like for this entire year or whatever, like I've been seeing a lot of butterflies and like sometimes some swans and it's kind of like a thing. I kid you not, the car right in front of me 
today. Right before turning into Trader Joe's, I had to detour in quite a bit because I kept missing the right headsets. But in there, like I just look up and like in there like a little by their review mirror and stuff, butterfly swan just hang in there and there were so many signs along the road like whether it's a license plate or their car or a sticker or whatever like there are so many little signs and synchronicities happening right now it's just more than usual and there's been like an increasing amount to begin with but this is like abundantly all over the place so like i don't i don't know i said something really really great is about to happen and i know i said that quite a bit but like no like i actually i see it i feel it i just i just know and it's weird to see all these little signs and be like that's like you've got to be kidding me like that what like even the music is timing up really weird and i'm kind of like predicting what song it's going to be before it even happens like it's a lot of weird stuff i can't fully explain but it's really cool so we're having a really great time today <laughs> we made it um so yeah this place is actually super cute i went through uh a beautiful drive it was very scenic it overlooked a lot i love those fun little curves and mountains and hills around here but i also seriously have uh you know the great desire to build a camera and actually look at the pretty without actually being able to while driving so as you can tell i'm getting a little bit tired a little bit sleepy which is why i'm going to get water <laughs> at starbucks i've last said that ladies hardcore judging me it's okay we're cool so yeah but this is like a there's like a cute little area up here where it's just like little shops and salons and stuff which is actually really cute like i've never been here and that's part of like what i like to do is randomly explore and find new places and i really like it like 100 percent do see myself coming here again this is like a hidden little nook you know like i'm pretty sure the people who live here know about this but like for me personally not living here this is really cute and i like it so yeah this has been fun all right let's drink some water So it's really really toasty in here because I just closed the window for the last several hours because I decided today it is a lazy cozy just not really lazy but more of the cozy Sunday vibe yesterday I was just very out and when I got back I was pretty tired so I just decided today I was going to keep it pretty easy and work on whatever I needed to work on kind of just let the day happen and relax uh even if that didn't mean like relaxing relaxing I kind of felt somewhere in between like I'm bored and I want to do things and also I can't be bothered to do the things that I actually should be doing. So that was today. That's chill. Like we love those sorts of days. Anywho, so what I ended up doing is I wrote a song which actually kind of sounds great. Like I'm impressed with it. I like it. I think it's like I'm trying to keep it more simple acoustic and like really beautiful but then I got a little bit more into alchemy and like that side of uh logic and i yeah I, I like it i think it's definitely a really cool uplifting song and i'm starting to really kind of figure out like not just my style but like what i'm going for and how i want to be able to create especially music but this goes for a lot of the things i create things that make people happy and things that share messages of dreams and hopes and love and light and all that good stuff so that's my very whimsical sense of self as i realize yet again i must charge this camera so i do think i'm gonna go for a little bit of a walk it is super late now it's like 7 16 and i'm going to call home for a bit and then make dinner and then take an early shower and honestly probably just watch something or sleep early but yeah it's been pretty chill it's just been kind of like an interesting day but what i should mention is last night i watched the movie clouds on disney plus and i heard good things about it i did want to see it and also the main guy in it i have seen at several events over the course of the last several years whether it's like a gifty suite or like i think tila's birthday party or things like that so i was just like you know 
I gotta watch this movie now. So I watched it and I am an emotional person to begin with and when I watch things the emotions kind of only heighten. I pick up on the energy and I feel it and I totally just cried hysterically at this movie. It was so good. It was by far one of the most beautiful untraditional ways to tell like that kind of story you know but it was so good and I do recommend this is not sponsored but seriously you guys should go watch that movie because it is such a well-crafted movie it does leave you in all the feels and I'm not going to spoil the end but the ending was just it was a lot and it was also something that I couldn't really take but I was so tired and it was late to begin with so it was just a journey of emotion but it wasn't all sad it was like there was a lot of happy there's a lot of inspiration a lot of hope actually just the whole nature of just writing up music and things like that kind of inspired me to write the song today it's not inspired by the movie but it is inspired by just the idea of being able to kind of sit back and create music to share light into the world and I thought that was really cool and that's definitely something that I think spoke to me on a really cool level so I do have exciting things possibly in the works for this upcoming week. I do still feel really, really good about things. Yesterday there were signs of the wazoo, so I was having a really fun day. And I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring quite yet, but as of right now, I'm kind of just enjoying taking a minute and kind of just taking things day by day. Like not having set structure is a little bit scary right now. Uh, it's been scary for a while, but I think overall things that definitely help. It's a little bit outdoor time colder temperatures and of course calling home and just talking it out and really just listening to music doing all these simple things because just try to like keep on going be productive be cozy get enough sleep getting enough sleep is very hard sometimes but like it's important eating well all that good stuff so that's the general what's happening i know i really haven't filmed anything today this is all i filmed but i did want to wrap up this week because that's kind of what happened and yeah, I'm excited for this upcoming week. I definitely think it's going to be an amazing one, which is why I don't mind resting a little bit more right now because, yeah, like, good things are happening. So, 